Hey everyone, it's Kaz here, and today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to set up a Minecraft server for yourself. Uh, this is for Minecraft version 1.7.9. It's a very simple process on how to set it up. It's more of the port forwarding process that I'm going to have to guide you guys through. So first of all, what you want to do is create a folder on your desktop, call it whatever you want. I called it Minecraft server for the purpose of this tutorial. So first, yeah, so secondly, you're going to go to their website, which is minecraft.net, and then you're going to put forward slash download. Uh, there will be a link to it in the description. So here we go. I'm actually going to save this as, and then I'm going to save it in the Minecraft server folder. So there we go. Now that it's downloaded, you're going to want to run it real quick. And then once it runs, it's going to set up a bunch of files for you inside the folder. And there it goes. So once that's done, you'll notice, uh, once you see the whitelist and all this stuff in there, it's done. You can hit the exit button. So right there, you were done. You've officially set up the Minecraft server. Very simple process, very easy uh, tutorial in my opinion. Uh, and then in here, in the server properties, you will be able to edit all the server files here. So here you go. Uh, very simple. You can change the server name. You can change everything else in here too. So now we're, what we're going to want to do is that we're, we're going to want to grab the default port, which is 25565. And uh, this is a guide for Netgear routers. I will provide a link in the um, description below for the port forwarding website and things like that. So, yeah, well, yes, yeah, so basically what you want to do is go into your command prompt. So in my case, it's command.x. And I'm using Windows Vista right now. You guys might be using Windows 7 or Windows 8. So th this is like this. So basically what you want to type in your console for your command prompt is ipconfig. Once you type that in, you will get your default gateway. Your default gateway is yeah, is basically what you're going to type into your internet browser in order to access your router's control panel. So in my case, I typed it in here, and it's going to ask me to log in. For most routers, the password, uh, username and password is just by default. Admin password is going to be password. So in here, you guys will see that everything is already set up. So we're going to go to administration. We're going to, oops, sorry. You're going to go to advanced setup, port forward. And then right here, you guys already see that I already have it set up, so that does that. So basically what we're going to do is that we're going to wipe this out and we're going to redo it. So basically what you want to do is add a service or on your router, you know, you, you just add a new port forward option. So we just name it whatever we want. I'm going to call it Minecraft server. And then you're going to want to select TCP UDP. So in my case, it's you know you're gonna you're gonna select that default port two five five six five, and again you're gonna select it for the external ending port, and then in here is where you're gonna want to select your PC. Your yeah your PC will be the IP version four address, so right here will be point four. So we're gonna put the four there, and then we just apply, and there you go. Now you'll be able to launch the game with no problem, and that's that. So now we're going to test the server itself. So we're going to hit the X button here. Since yeah, since we're done with the port forwarding portion of this uh, tutorial, now we're going to launch the server. And there we go. Server is now running. Now I'm going to launch Minecraft 2. And here we go. Okay, so for this part, guys, is where I'm actually gonna wipe the servers off of this list, so I guys say I can, so I can show you guys in depth on how to connect. So basically, if you want to connect to your server, you're gonna set a server name, whatever you want it to be, and then you're gonna want to get your address for for your own local computer. What you're gonna want to type in is 192.168.1.4. So that's for me, and yeah, 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 and then for you will be your own local address, uh, local address. Um, so in order to get that address, you're going to want to go to your internet browser. In my case, I use Google Chrome. And you're going to want to go to cmyip.com. And then in here, they will give you your IP address is what you're going to want to enter into the server itself. 
and then you're going to want to enter it in. Um, please note when, yeah, um, please note when you want your friends to connect, you're going to have to have them type a colon after the IP address and then type in 25565 in order for it to register for them. And then you're done. And there you go. Then you can actually join your server from there. And here we go. Now we are actually in the server itself. If you guys can go in here, you know, kill chicken, whatever you guys want to do. So that's basically how you set up a server. Uh, just type to people. And that's that. And if you guys want, you guys can also see in here, you guys can also see right here. I yeah that yeah yeah that I am indeed in the server. It will show the players, which I yeah me and game. I'm drunken cause, and that's it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you can, please you know hit that uh, subscribe button, comment, and rate this video. We really appreciate it. If you guys want to see more of these tutorials, please let me know. Peace.